Hi everybody, Matt here. Just thought I'd do a reasonably short video showing the end result of my do-it-yourself portable lithium power station that I built using the toolbox that I found in a local hardware store that had the built-in wheels and the extendable handle, which makes it very convenient, easy to use. Cost me about $1,100 all up, and that was getting some stuff at really, on really good sales at the uh, some of the four-wheel drive adventure shows and online. Uh, it weighs about 45 to 50 pounds, which is actually very lightweight considering a single AGM 100 amp deep cycle battery weighs about 60 pounds all by itself. Um, and this has basically twice the usable power of that. Uh, I'm no electrician, so anything you see here as far as wiring and fuses, take with a grain of salt, do your own research, make sure you do what's safe and what works for you. This is what I've come up with. It works really well. I'm happy with it. So I'll show you the features now. So basically an on-off switch on the front. That brings the four outlet panel to life. That's wired, that's wired to the 600 watt pure sine wave inverter that I've got. So we can just wheel that in the house in a power outage, plug in the TV, the fridge, the fan, the lights, and uh, that's it. My wife can do it if I'm not home. We don't have to start a generator. There's no noise, no fuel. Very easy. So I'll turn that off. Besides that, we've got the 12 volt system. It's got a 12 volt, simple 12 volt panel I found on Amazon or eBay for uh, $25. It's got a 12 volt cigarette lighter plug, a voltmeter, a dual USB output, five on off switches you can use for whatever you want. Um, I've got mine wired to some LED lights, an amber and a white on each corner, and then a, an amber on each back corner. Uh, around the side here, I've got a couple air vents at the bottom. I've drilled a bunch of holes in each corner so it can uh, get some fresh air for the inverter when the cooling fans kick on. It basically, if you don't overload it, it doesn't really get hot, but it still needs some fresh air. I've got a Merit plug here, which is a 12-volt outlet, similar to a cigarette lighter plug, except uh, more secure, a better a better fit, less likely to accidentally come undone, more efficient. Anderson plug here and here. This one's an input to my 30 amp MPPT solar controller. So that plug my solar panel straight into that to charge the battery. This is a 50 amp one that I've got wired through a 30 amp fuse, which is still adequate for almost anything you'd want to plug into it, including a mains charger. I've got a 30 amp mains charger. I charge, charge it up with that. If you wanted to use a bigger charger, you just pull the lid off and go straight to the battery. Uh, there's one of the rear amber lights there. Here's the on-off switch for the 12 volt. That's just brought all that stuff we just talked about live. Here's the handle extends up, makes it super easy to move around. Very, very convenient. Yeah. So basically you don't have to pick it up very often. Here, I'll pull the top off here after I show you the couple of the switches here. There we go. There's the amber lights. There's the white lights. And of course the amber lights on the back, which I won't show you. Flick that back off and we'll show you the guts. So I've got just a long wire going from the 12 volt fuse box over to the lid so I can take the lid off and get to it easily. Got my 120 amp hour lithium battery. 600 watt pure sine wave inverter wired through this on off switch going through a 60 amp inline fuse to the battery the other wire going to the 12 volt on off switch going to the fuse panel there's my solar controller and that's wired to this bottom anderson plug here top anderson plug straight to the fuse box with the 30 amp fuse and that's it Got all that extra space. I can put uh, extension leads, adapters, whatever you might want to put in there. Plenty of room to mount a mains charger if you wanted. Mine's not mounted because I've got another lithium system that I use as well. And so I keep mine out. I uh, hope that that 
has given someone some ideas or was of some interest to you. And uh, thanks for watching. And until next time.